This is CARE 11 News, Saturday. Yes, it's that time of year again. The ultimate wine tasting show. The Twin Cities Food and Wine Experience brings together hundreds of the best wine and food vendors from all around the country, all under one roof. Each year, a panel of judges chooses the very Criteria. best of the How bunch. are they chosen? Well, this blind taste testing was done in January by eight judges. There were wine sommelier, it's a um, shot fire 2006, it has hints of chocolate and fruit, so it's a really smooth This show. is WCCO4 right, News. Inside this wine, morning. then you may be headed to the Food and Wine Experience at the Minneapolis Convention Center this weekend. Now, among the many foods that you can sample there this year is a cheese made right here in Minnesota, and Angela Davis uh, had the uh, great fortune to go down to see where they make this cheese down there. This is CARE 11 News. Oh, you're definitely delicious. gonna wanna come on down, and you're definitely gonna wanna come on down for this. We are talking with Allison Fishman, host of TLC's Homemade Simple. Yes. And we mentioned we're getting saucy with you this morning. That's it. We don't, we that don't is fix. mango salsa. That is wonderful. And what time can we catch you here again tomorrow? Noon, here right? at noon. Here at noon tomorrow. All right, let's tell this everybody what This is CARE 11 News Sunrise. As you know, this morning with Allison Fishman, we were talking about sauces and pairing those up with different foods. And just like that pairing goes together, the right wine can either make or break your meal. And this morning, we have a wonderful guest with us, Annabelle Bardonnet from the Bordeaux region of France. Yeah, you Good and morning. your cousin also have wineries not far from each other in the Bordeaux region, right? Exactly. And we have some of them here with us this morning. We have uh, one from your winery and one from his. And yes. what would the difference be between those two? Eyewitness <laughs> News. The festival gives some people a chance to sample the finer things of life. We're talking about the annual Twin Cities Food and Wine Experience, which have continues this series, to The Reserve. It's over 150 wines that are really high-end wines. They range from $20 um, to over 250 exhibitors and 75 restaurants and over 400 wines. This is WCCO4 News. And one of the new events is Macy's Gourmet Gathering. It's going to take place tonight. And joining us to talk more about the food and wine experience is Elizabeth Brown. Thank you so much for coming in this oh, morning. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm You're delighted waking to be up here. with the Fox 9 Morning Ooh, News. For great food and wine this weekend, don't go to a restaurant. Yeah, why not visit the food and wine experience at the Minneapolis Convention Center? M.A. Roscoe is giving us a preview There are of the 400 show. wines at the Food and Wine Experience, but just one flourless chocolate cake. I'm with Jim Dodge, who is from Bon Appetit Management. He works with restaurants like Q and the Guthrie Theater. And you Theater. can see how it's pulled away from the edge. And also, it will rise just a little bit, so it bakes like a cheesecake once this it's set segment, in the middle. I'm with metal. Rick Anderson from France uh, 44. We're going to talk about wines that you can pair with your everyday meals. There's no foie gras on this table, people, okay? We're talking meatloaf, mac and cheese, chicken soup paired with that. Dinner. A, a red pinot. wine, exactly. Red wine, not white. That's right. Well, you know, you don't always have to go with the rules of thumb. This, the reason I selected this is I actually think pinot is a great okay, choice with turkey This is Beatrice Ojekangas. The author of 26 Going on 27 Cookbooks yeah. in the Scandinavian You are making style. today for us a stew called... The Karelian Paisti, or Karelian Hot Pot. Karelian oh. Hot Pot. Or it's a stew, basically, and it goes I into I love the that word, yeah. stew. We're here at the I Food and Wine that. Experience. We're going to talk wine, specifically Bordeaux wine. I'm here with Emmanuel Cruz. And tell the viewers, um, this wine is from your chateau. One of it. And one so of, one of you've been in a wine-producing family for how long? Well, the, the family is involved in the wine business since 1873. Yes. Yeah. WCCO4 News. And the wine experience wraps up today over at the convention center, and it is hopping over there. 400 different place. kinds of wines. I'm ready to go. All right. <laughs> are getting it. And some people are getting not just wine and taste of a new locally made vodka. That's right. It comes from over across the border, New Richmond, Wisconsin. Parallel which lies right vodka. Hoping to become as famous as Wisconsin cheese. 